How you doing, everybody out there? This is on Inside Cleveland Sports, basically the MMA edition. And we're going to talk about one of the biggest fights that's coming up on this year. John Jones versus Daniel Cormier. Um, you know, it's been a big fight, you know, leading up to this, a big anticipation for this fight. Um, you know, these two guys have very bad blood. Nah, yeah. So what, what are your thoughts on this, man? See, my thing about it is... I just feel like this would be one of the better cards of this year because, first and foremost, I've never seen John Jones get tested mm -hmm. or anybody that has more accolades than he has. Usually mm -hmm. he has a competitive edge over most people. What are his accolades to go over with um, Daniel Cormier? We know right now he's he's 15-0. and 0. He was the um, Strike Force Grand Prix champion. Yes. He's been a two-time Olympic wrestler. He yeah. took fourth in the Olympics, actually. The first time he wasn't able to go because he made the weight cut. And the weight cut was so severe yeah. that he wasn't able to make it. So he had to wait till the next four years for that 08 Olympics to come up. Mm -hmm. And, you know, John Jones, um, very talented fighter. Yes. Um, you know, one is the youngest um, UFC champion ever in the history of sports. 23 years old. But, you know, I just see things like this. Is, he's, he's getting kind of rattled right now. I mean, he's always. I mean, one thing I can say about John, he always evolves and he always becomes better. He always has a knack for becoming better fighter than he was previously. When mm -hmm. each and every time he steps in the cage, if it's something that he had a hole in, he'll definitely make sure he'll punctuate and make sure that he tool sharpens up on that specific tool. So I can give him that. Mm -hmm. As far as that, I mean, don't get me wrong, he went states. I think he went he states. States in wrestling. Um, Buffalo. Uh, yeah. Some suburb of Buffalo. Yeah. Over there by North Tonawanda, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, he has solid wrestling, but if it was going to turn into a wrestling match, I think mm -hmm. he should he shouldn't really do that because it'll be a shootout. Mm -hmm. And for somebody that's rolling with high level wrestlers mm -hmm. right now Cormier is rolling with the same guy that took him out the Olympics back in 04. Mm -hmm. I seen that I seen that what, oh okay. wait gosh, I'm sorry oh, oh, wait what, who do you got who do you who do you who do you think um has the better striking the striking advantage well, now we know all know John Jones has the length the reach advantage but people you know people I think people get a misconception about that because you know they see that like oh well I can keep him outside keep him away from me and because of his, um, because of John Jones' talent right. and him being what he's six four, six four, six six four and a half, six five. Mm -hmm. Um, do, I, I, do you feel like DC can get in and work in with him? Yeah, of boxing course. Is good enough. I mean, DC's done it with Bigfoot. Mm -hmm. Bigfoot is bigger. Uh, I want to say as far as size wise, he's way more stout than John Jones. John Jones is more so lanky. That's why they call him Bones. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think as far as that being a problem for mm -hmm. Daniel Cormier because he slammed Silva in impressive fashion and Dan slammed Henderson. him. Yeah. yeah. Dan Henderson, uh, Silva. Um, and also beat um, Frank Mir, too. He, he punished him. Right. He punished Frank Mir. Mm -hmm. Frank Mir is one of the premier ground grapplers in the sport. Mm -hmm. He's one of the grandfathers, uh, grandfather grapplers in the 205 pound division. Um, I think my opinion on John Jones, don't get me wrong, I can never take anything away from him as a fighter because mm -hmm. anybody could be good on whatever day. He is a champ. Mm -hmm. But I feel like as a fighter, he was groomed for specific people for him to beat. Yeah. That's just my so opinion. He has holes in his game. I mean, I think so too. And it's a lot of guys that you have to keep in mind that he skipped over mm -hmm. throughout these years of him being a champ. But he's, he's defended about six or eight. eight Five, eight, eight times, defending eight times. Actually. Eight, eight times. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of guys that's out there right now in the 205, 205 pound division that I, I would like for him to still fight. Okay, well, we'll let's get, let, we'll just get a um, quick, who do you have winning, winning for the fight? Daniel Cormier, I'd say, this go the distance. Go the distance? Yeah, split decision. Okay, and I'm, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna say Daniel Cormier as well. I'm gonna go with the Olympic um, wrestler oh, right. and for a shocker. And actually, an uh, interesting note: um, he, he was actually picked to win this fight six to one by some of the UFC veterans. Mm. But this is Inside Cleveland Sports MMA Edition. Signing off. Everybody, be safe out there. Inside is a two.